Hi guys, how you all doing and welcome back to Crazy Bake. It's just me cooking. Um, today we are doing a budget video um, of chili con carne. Um, this was a requested video by James Digweed5687. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I have all the ingredients set up. I will run through it all with you. Um, you're watching this today, which is Thursday the 27th of July. And it's currently 12 minutes past 7 in the morning here. Um, it'll be a lot, lot later by the time you guys watch it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my hands washed. You're on the tripod. Also, I do want to say, um, we do, when we do bu budget videos, we try and keep them as low as possible. Um, <clears throat> so for this recipe... The whole ingredients was £12.50 and it's based on four people, a family of four. You could double the ingredients and get more. Um, £3.13 per portion. Um, also, you can make these cheaper if you've already got some of the ingredients. I've already had some of the ingredients, so I didn't need to go and buy them all. Um, but I've... What you've... Do need I've listed it in there anyway even though I've had it um, but yeah <clears throat> so let's crack on with the video all right guys so we have one onion garlic one pepper a tablespoon of oil we have um, one heat teaspoon of chili powder in this one we have um, a teaspoon of paprika we have a teaspoon of ground cumin we have a teaspoon of ground coriander salt and pepper to taste 500 grams of mincemeat one beef stock cube we have a can of chopped tomatoes. We have a teaspoon of um, sugar. We have a teaspoon of oregano. We have over that there um, two tea tablespoons, two tablespoons of tomato puree, and a tin of red kidney beans. So. That's all the ingredients. Um, I didn't need, obviously, an onion or a garlic because I grow it all myself. So, yeah. Let's, let's crack on with the video. But, obviously, I've added what you would buy, pay in the shop. <coughs> Alright, so. What we're going to do first is prep and chop the onion. I'm just going to go over here quickly and just get all the dirt off. Let's put a chopping board down. So, just going to chop the end off. You can actually use the ends if you grow your own your onions. Um, so I'm just going to put that to the side. I always like to peel the first layer off. Um, just because otherwise sometimes it can be a little bit tougher. These are very strong onions. Making my eyes water already. There you Right, no, just 
just going to cut the onion like that. And we're just literally going to cut it in half moon shapes. Like so. Now we're just going to prep two garlic bulbs. So we're going to take these two here. I'm going to break them over here. Just fine. And now the same again. Let me um. Let me just. Just put our onion on a plate quickly, just so it doesn't get dirty. Now, prep the garlic. I find it easier to peel it from, to peel it from the bottom. When you can get hold of it, that is. not going to do it now, it's going to make me look stupid. God. Apologise people, them onions. What, you try and peel your garlic? This is what takes the time, all the prep work. Oh. oh, excuse me. Number one. It's going to be the same. Just chop the end off. Sometimes it all comes off in one, other times it doesn't. <laughs> there we go. Right now we're just going to chop them up. I like to chop them in half first, then slice. And then put them all back together and chop it up nice and small. I apologise guys but uh, that onion is a 
It made my nose run. I like to chop it up tiny because I like garlic but sometimes there's nothing worse than chewing on a big lump of garlic. Like so, now for your pepper. Just wash my hands. Now for your pepper, what I like to do is cut it down the sides. So, I, I like to do mine in fours. Probably seen this, this is a new trend on social media about cutting it like this, but I've been doing it this way for God knows how long, even before it was out on social media. And then you can just tear it apart. And the seeds come out. Most of them. Um, I don't throw this away. I actually keep this because um, what most shops and gardening places don't want you to know is from this next year, I will actually grow a good, well, there's probably a good thousand seeds there. So I'll get a good, maybe close to a thousand plants. Um, it does work because I do it every year. If you're in, if anyone's interested in gardening, um, there's just a little bit for you. <clears throat> you can also do it with tomatoes as well as cucumbers. Basic, excuse me. Basically, any fruit that grows a seed or a pip. Just take these bits off, just because I think the the white bits on them, or the lighter bits, is um. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, the lighter bits they're actually a bit more bitter. So put them in there. There. Now we're just going to thinly slice these lengthways. I don't know how many of you like the overhead angle of like, being able to see what I'm doing. And you're actually uh, resting in the cupboard. So 
So you do this for all of them. Just the preparation that takes the time. Obviously I wanted to do this on camera for you guys rather than, you know, doing it off camera. That way you get step by step of the video. Right, last bit. That one's probably a bit chunky. You're probably thinking, why does it matter? Because it's to do with the cooking process. Just so they soften all at the same time. So, there we have peppers, onion, garlic. Now, for the next bit. You're going to want a saucepan and your oil and heat it up for roughly two to three um, couple of minutes. Um, longer if you've got obviously a electric. So let's get you guys set up over the cooker. Alright, so here we are guys, the frying pan's there. Just need to get the oil. Straight in. Turn the heat on. Want it about a medium heat. And you just gotta let that heat up now. Shouldn't take long. There we go, it's already there. Uh, already starting to it will crackle okay what we can do is is you're gonna add your onion in I like to just break it up a bit in the ends just so it separates more Just gonna soften that. Okay, we're just gonna soften it down. Thank you. 
Yeah. So yeah, just starting to get a little colour. <coughs> now we add in to the garlic. The garlic won't need so long just because obviously it goes dark pretty quick. Slowly now. Right, so as they're slowly getting soft, now we go straight in with all the herbs <coughs> uh, and spices. Sorry, chili powder. Paprika, ground cumin, ground coriander, give it a stir, add them all in and stir it all together, you want all your vegetables covered. better than fresh cooking would be better if it obviously was cheaper now gonna go straight in with the mints just gonna break it up Most people would take the, some people would take the vegetables out and cook the meat separate, but I want all the veggies to be soft. At this point as well, when the, um, when the mint has started to cook, you're going to want obviously um, 300 ml of hot water. Kind of the meat's changed already with all them spices and that going for it. Thank you. 
れたら空気回してや。I'm just going to pour the kettle, guys. So it's so nice. Three hundred ml of hot water. Shake it in there like that, and then you're going to get your beef cube and break it up and put it in to obviously your lovely pan of goodness. that bubble away give it a stir obviously so you mix it all up <clears throat> now we haven't got beef stock cubes or well you can buy them obviously but you can cheat actually on a cheating way and use bisto um, gravy Or any gravy you can get. I only normally buy that brand. I did slip up. I only normally buy that brand when it's on offer. Other than that, I normally just buy the cheap ones because they're exactly the same. Now you've got to just constantly stir this because you want to try and break up all that oxo cube. Well, it's not an oxo cube, it's um just a cheap one. Wherever they are. I call them oxo cubes but they're not. I don't know where it's gone. Um, stock cube should I say not oxo cube these are the ones I think that was about 60p
but obviously using um, if you do use a gravy obviously it does make it a lot more thicker it will change the taste slightly as well but obviously you know I'm just saying you can use it It will get thicker. Right. <clears throat> Just going to let that bubble quickly. Obviously it will always keep reducing the liquid. So I'm gonna get my tins open. Chop tomatoes straight in back to the stirring, mix it all up. Oregano. Straight in there like that. Again, give it a mix.
Alright, so last bit. We're gonna add in sugar. There's your sugar. Some up here. Just give that a little mix. Salt and pepper, just season it a little bit. We'll see to taste. If you don't like salt and pepper, obviously, you don't really have to add it, but just to, just to give it a nice little, a little taste. That was two pinches of salt, two pinches of pepper. I'm just going to leave that to boil for a couple of seconds. <coughs> and then we turn the heat down and leave it to simmer for 20 minutes before you put the kidney beans in. Oh, I'm going to write on this there, aren't I? Right, I'm going to turn the heat down. literally right down um, and that's just going to simmer now for 20 minutes um, haven't got a lid that big so I'm just going to use a pizza tray that's it leave it for 20 minutes to simmer now so I'll bring you back in about 20 minutes right guys so it's been 20 minutes Take the lid off. <coughs> Give it a stir. Oh, look at that. See, it thickens up really nice. Now we're going to add our kidney beans. Obviously, you're going to want to drain them and rinse them <coughs> so that is what I've already done hold on guys sorry I just got to let the dog in Sorry about that guys, he's back in. Right, so I'm just going to mix them in. The kidney beans. And then, you literally just let that boil away um, for about 10 minutes with no lid on. Make sure they're all nice in there. Sit 10 minutes boiling away like that. <coughs> there you go guys, it's been 10 minutes now. That is ready to serve. Oh wow, look at that. I'm literally going to turn it off the heat. Bring you guys back over here. Good 
Det er ikke også at få mig løb. This is just a little bit of rice that I um, cooked up. Just, um, just drain a little bit of excess water off. Now, you could just eat this like you don't have to have the rice, but obviously. Have rice with it, makes the dish. Oh, just look at that. Now, that what I'll do is with the rest of it, <coughs> here's let it cool down and I'll freeze it. Now, before I taste it for you guys, um, I just want to say, uh, I did forget to add the rice to the shopping list, um, because I already had it, but the rice was 52p, um, so it actually put it up to £13.2p, by four people, it works out at £3.26 that was obviously without the rice this is with the rice so look at that just keep that on there of course a bit hot leave it for a minute i think um <coughs> take you guys off the tripod right so also, I want to say, um, if that is expensive for you, you can work, do it a little bit cheaper. Um, and that is by... I've taken the label off. That is by buying yourself a can already done of chili con carne. And then you just, you, to get the cost down as well, you could buy a cheap microwave, microwavable rice. Um, it works out doing it this way if you brought four tins of this um, and two bags of rice because it, one bag would do two people um, then you're looking at eight pound and eight p um, if you buy the tins and two bags of rice so it's actually it's four pound 94p cheaper if you do it by the tin but yeah sorry about that guys so where was i yeah um so it's actually it is cheaper to do it this way um but obviously we're doing it on a budget which is doing it fresh so it depends if you want it fresh or not but yeah let's give it a go let's give it a taste yes i'm actually sweating buckets Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Lots of flavour in there. Um, probably could have done with a little bit more chilli powder for me. Um, but that is very nice. Mm. Yeah, wow. Um... Like I said, time you're watching this video, it's going to be a bit later. I've got to pull it, edit it all, and upload it. It's currently <clears throat> 10 to 9 here now. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, turn the little bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Also, sorry if I haven't um, haven't been on logged on to the page recently. I've uh, just been so busy, so I haven't seen any comments. Um, I do apologise, I will reply to any of them. Um, but yeah, catch you guys next time. Bye for now.